Welcome back to another episode of Global Geek Art in Depth. Joining me once again, my awesome friend coming at you from New York, Eric Olson. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, What's man? up? So, I'm doing uh, great. great. How are you? Oh, you know, being a tall glass of water like I always am. <laughs> I like that phrase today, apparently. I see that. Yeah, you've said that like four times. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, we're, if you guys have never seen these videos before, we're going to scroll through some art that gets posted on our Global Geek Art Facebook page. That is the only place I pull art from nowhere else. So if you want to get your art featured, that's where you need to go. You also need to go down into that section down below, click that red subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Because there's a lot of you guys who are viewing these episodes but you're not subscribed yet hopefully it's not because i'm just too ugly <laughs> all right tell you what eric the humor yeah let's go ahead let's get in to the art for the week so we're gonna start off with connie fry's piece this here is sam wilson from Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Avengers, you know, Marvel Universe, or whatever. And let's just go ahead and say, this is phenom.com, I gotta say. And um, this is, a, I believe, digital medium here. Yep. So, I'm loving this piece. I do too. So, I know that this is his, uh, the Falcon's new appearance from his... Uh, from the show uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney Plus, I haven't I've actually seen. watched it yet because I uh, only just now got Disney Plus back. But uh, it's definitely on my list of things to do immediately. I haven't seen it either, um, but I've always liked him in the other movies and I whatnot. So, um, and I believe he is on his way to becoming Captain America, or... I think that's I'm kind of sure. what their whole show is about, is because, like, Cap gives him the shield at the end of right. Avengers Endgame, and it's like, it's yours now? But then, like, in the show, at the beginning at least, I know that in the commercials they're talking about, man, like, it's a big burden to carry, I'm not sure I'm ready for it. Right. So, so we'll have to see on that. But, uh, still, Connie phenomenal piece really really love it um i like the lighting effects like, on like the shield and his armor oh yeah really really good if there was anything that i would have like said might change it would be the background just being just because being it being a yeah geez can't talk <laughs> with it just being a digital piece <laughs> um I would have made the background just slightly faded just to make Sam pop a little bit more. Yeah, I understand. It is just a little busy. But, you know, the plus side to digital work is you can always change things. A lot For easier sure. than us in our traditional art where once it's done, it's done. <laughs> right, for sure. All right. Good job, Connie. We're going to go ahead and move it on. Warning! Warning. Spoilers ahead! Dragon Ball Super, Chapter 74. So, I think something may have happened with Vegeta. I Maybe. Maybe just something. Because I've been noticing a lot of Vegeta posts lately. Did something happen with Vegeta? Yeah, you know, it seems like he may have just gotten hmm. a new transformation. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah. <sighs> Go read the new Dragon Ball Super manga if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Super. Not to plug something like that, jeez. But seriously. <laughs> well, um, but yeah, so it looks like we have some artists who uh, did the uh, new version of Vegeta, which if anyone is confused, I'm not trying to spoil anything for anyone. Is God of Destruction Vegeta, or a form well, of, maybe? It's still a little vague, because they talk about it being... A natural instinct form. It's the it's the Hakai, right? Energy. Uh, so yeah, I have to say personally, as far as the artists go, I love the art. Um, Daniel did a great job 
with this full color piece here. You have Ellie down in the corner uh, with a Majin Vegeta smiling grin down there. And then you have Kevin Womack with the digital piece on the far side, um, just with the six smile. Obviously, the six smile is probably going to just be part of this form. But uh, I got to say, I'm, I'm still very conflicted with this form as it is. I want to see it more, and um, we will see in the next uh, thing there he's going to be fighting again. Um, but, you know, when it comes to the art itself, obviously Daniel Rios, I'm sure you guys can see which piece is his just because of his style and absolutely amazing, uh, really well done. Um, then we got Kevin's here. Uh, I like how... I can't tell, but it looks like he might be going in his own direction, and instead of giving the regular armor, he's putting more of the uh, got a destruction armor on it. I can't tell, like kind if of, I look at it, well, it's it looks like a mix of between Vegeta's um, Weiss training armor and maybe it, it kind of looks like his Super Vegeta look to me. Yeah, um, I do like the uh, I like the way he's going completely with his own design. Not just with his own style, his own design of Vegeta. So, really, really cool. And um, I, will be, I will be interested to see how this goes. Um, because everybody's assuming this form is purple. It could be. I mean, his Hakai energy right. is purple, but we don't really know what the form's going to look like yet. But Right. Um, quite frankly, I'm hoping it's going to evolve further. In my opinion, because I, God, I just I don't like the Super Saiyan three eyebrows and I don't know. I I'm I haven't seen it enough yet. I need to see it from tons of different angles and poses and whatnot, and see if like I can really get in the feeling of it. It will be interesting to see if he definitely does have purple hair. Um, I think a lot of people forget that technically Vegeta's regular hair is like more of a purple. If you look at the shading and stuff yeah. through the series whatnot um so that'll be interesting but yeah so really really great job everybody liked all these pieces so no i love them all uh it's just a need to talk about that form for a minute get some little discussion there tell me what you guys think of this form down in the comments below so you think you know me no you don't know me you might know this piece by carl davies the sick edge piece, which is totally radical oh and just God. off the chain. No, this is this is really, really good. And Carl, what you know what I'm loving about this so much is that this is your style, one of your many styles, but like one thing I really, really like is the his face. It looks like it's it looks like it's raw, not to, no pun intended. Like, oh man, no it, pun intended. It's just he looks vicious in his the skin. Like it looks like he's lost like three layers of skin, and he's just like furious. And that's what Edge is like. He's supposed to be in his character. He's supposed to be ruthless and rated R and all this other stuff. So like this piece is freaking great. This is probably my favorite WWE piece that you've made so far. I would have to definitely say so. Um, this edge does look absolutely fantastic. It's dark. It's gritty. You you get the serious tone. Um, you feel like he's about to go do something demented. Uh, I, I really can't say enough good things about this piece. Uh, Carl, I got to say, I mean, when it comes to your art and your style, I definitely feel like you have an edge up for sure and you know even though um brandon just delivered that excellent pun at the end there um carl i'm gonna need you to send me like five copies of this so i can hang it across different parts of my house <laughs> put it at the, at the edge of his door or the edge of his room or the edge of my bed frame oh all right we're moving on so we have Uraka from My Hero Academia, done by another new member, Mary Corrals. I hope I'm saying that again once again. I hope I'm saying that properly once again. Um, so this scene comes from, her, I believe, her battle with Bakugo, where he's like telling her how she's a loser. He's, he's another classmate 
Um, Eric, since you don't know this show very well. And he's kind of a bully and a pig-headed, you know, jack wagon. But uh, she's, like, proving a point to him that just because her power isn't as flashy as his, she can be just as strong. And I really like that that strong emotion from her. And you can really see that determination in the eyes that the artist has pulled off so well. When I look at it, I instantly kind of think, like, okay, she seems like she's either in a really intense, even fight, or she's just gotten beat down, but she's not giving up. Um, that's just what I... Would be from the, okay, right on. That's what I took from the look of it. And uh, I don't know the character, I don't know the show, um, but it is really, really nice. I do like it. And uh, this is a new artist again? Yes. Welcome to our fan play. <laughs> No, Mary, I uh, I love your piece here. I I want to say it really looks pencil. It kind of looks like pencil. I think it's marker. Is it marker? I can't tell. I might be wrong. It it Man, does look like artists, it could we are be terrible at depicting what other people use. Or maybe the artists are just so good that it makes well, everyone. There is that. Tr that's true. But, Mary, I would love to know what you're using for your pieces, and I cannot wait to see more from you. Keep it up. All right, so we've got Ellie Watson here with Bunny Girl Bulma, and uh, looks like she was doing a comic book cover of sorts here. I like how the Bunny Girl references the old Batman lettering. That is awesome. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That is yep. cool. Uh, Bulma is looking fierce, <laughs> um, and I love it. She's, uh, if, you, if you've ever seen Dragon Ball and see her have to wear this suit, she didn't particularly love it. So no, this but is it's just so great. iconic. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Ellie, I really, really like this. Nice job. No, I, I do. I, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, You've got some really good shading in there, but it's still simple. Um, and just Bulma looks fantastic. Like, her just great form. Um, something I need to work on, especially when it comes to females, is getting different body postures so that they're not just, you know, straight up and down. And You know, she looks right, yeah. completely natural in that position. Yeah, I haven't seen um, this pose particularly before, just like standing out. So looks like she went with her own pose. So that's always even harder to do. So really nice job with that. Yeah. All right. Good job, Ellie. Okay, so our next piece comes from Robert R.J. Fegan. I hope I'm saying that properly. It is Cindy from Final Fantasy XV. Now, unfortunately, I've never played Final Fantasy. Fantasy 15. Shame. And Shame. I don't know who this is. Shame. Shame. I don't either. But, Unfortunately. Shame. Shame. But this is mind-blowingly amazing as far as artwork goes. Um, graphite pencils, or maybe not even an actual graphite pencil, just colored pencils, black and gray, with looks like maybe a ballpoint to do some shading. Yeah, I love it. Um, I mean, there's not a single thing technically wrong with this piece at all. And um, like you, I haven't played Final Shame. Fantasy or anything either. Um, but Shame. I don't know. Shame. This is really, really good. I'm not sure if I've seen much of this artist in the group. I'm pretty sure that, that Robert is new uh, to the group. Which, speaking well, of being new... You know we just broke 300 members today. We sure did. And I am super pumped about that because that means more art for us to be able to review. Right. I want somebody making a piece from the movie 300 to celebrate. Either that or I want you to draw someone bowling a perfect game. Turkeys. I want to see them turkeys. <laughs> Um, oh my yeah, god, if we get somebody to draw a Goku in a turkey outfit, it's gold. 
anyway, that's, back to Robert's one. piece. Um, oh my god, I don't. I really don't think I could say enough good things. The shading is on point. The detail, the facial feature is perfect. Like you can see the stitching in what I can only assume looks like denim or maybe leather. Yeah, for sure. Like it just looks freaking fantastic. So. Uh, now I want to know what material the coat's made out of. It might even be one of those newer, fancier windbreakers. Maybe. I mean, it looks like um, kind of like an Aeropilot jacket. That's what it looks like to me, at least. Yeah, I see that. So, Alan? All right, well, Robert, fantastic piece. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so we got Dragonite here by Dale Milner. And I have a huge, huge spot in my heart for Pokemon. And Dragonite is right up there with one of my favorites. I've been watching and following Pokemon since Dragonite was considered a legendary. Right. And this is just off the wall. I love it so much. No, this is an absolutely beautiful piece. Dragonite looks great. Flying through the sky, even though it's got itty bitty wings and a big old belly. Kind of like me. And uh, yeah. the grass looks really good. And I have to say, you know, Dale really did just a great job putting the Pokemon in a realistic environment. Really, really like the uh, pose here. Dragonite's just looking chill, nice and calm, cool. Majestic. Like a legendary should be. Oh, show. Oh, show. We have Damien Stewart coming in. This is, uh, I don't remember uh, what the anime is that this came from, but pretty much the idea is that you have all of these knights who are based off the different zodiac signs, and this one is the Aries zodiac sign, which is really cool. Um, and it's even cooler because I am a Aries, which makes me super duper happy. <laughs> Which also explains your personality. Oh my god, so uh -huh. much. I'm to the T. No. This, only, like, <laughs> only like a lot. But you know. Absolutely amazing. Damien? Fire as always. Fire as always. The colors here just pop like crazy. It's shooting right off the page. Mm -hmm. It's it's really intense. Like I look at this uh I look at this armor and I just oh, my eyes, they burn with how just like gorgeously shiny uh they are so like really really stellar man you know what i found absolutely amazing about this piece he sat there and he kept putting progress shots up you know yep. and it was like a little piece of armor done another little piece of armor done another little piece of armor done and by the time that he got to the end with all the armor the rest of the piece was done Mm. So that just tells you just how much detail went into making that gold armor just look on freaking point. Oh, yeah. Absolutely awesome. Like, just the the different colors of the yellows and golds and whatnot in here. Oh, uh, man. Oh, my. It I wonder so how long it took. So much form. Absolutely love it. So, um, Damien, dude, you, you rock as an artist, man. And, uh, like every single thing that you post is phenomenal and it might be out of left field. I got no clue where it's coming from, but you never stop amazing me. So we come back with our man, Adam Newbit with Alloy from the video game Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, I have not played this game, but it does look interesting. Built is a um, post-apocalyptic 3021 time frame. You know, people are uh, more tribal, I guess, in this game, which I think is kind of a neat idea. Probably where the world's headed, and we all are all uh, pretty serious about it. But uh, this, this piece just looks so good. I know he did it in pencil, but, uh, hit, you know, the thing about Adam is his freaking realism 
drawings that he does, he does such a fantastic job with like the hair and the skin tones and the eyes. And... I'm always loving every piece that Adam puts out, and this is no exception. Um, man, I feel like such a uh, non lame lamo because I don't know like any of the pieces we've talked about tonight it seemed but this is like this is just absolutely incredible um shading the color so vibrant so punchy like really really I'm liking the background too like you put yourself right in the game I mean I guess I don't know the game but I feel like I'm being put in the game right now looking at Adam's piece right so uh Really, really good job, man. Such uh, an intense I, stare. Oh, for sure. Very intense. And I really loved, again, like you were talking about earlier with another uh, piece, um, I liked how he had all those progress pictures. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing that I actually want to talk about is, like, I, I know in the progress, he did the mouth last. Like, that would throw me off so much as an artist, trying to, like, right? not see the whole face. Um, like the face is usually the first thing that I take out to not put the mouth in, but have everything else done is just, I feel like that's tough. I feel like that's hard to do. Adam, but... you're going to have to talk to us about your logic or, or lack of, you know, we're, I know we do crazy <laughs> things all the time. I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. I don't Artist of the week, Daniel Rios. His piece, the Vegeta Super Saiyan Royal Blue, Ascended <laughs> Super Saiyan Blue, whatever you want to call it. And this freaking piece is phenomenal. You know, we, we've talked a lot about Daniel and Eric, about how, you know, a lot of his pieces are smaller and he kind of gets away without having to have too much of a background because of his amazing auras and effects. But to see this piece fully done, full background, full aura, full lighting effects, everything, like, it really does put him on a whole different level that just feels so hard to reach. <laughs> I know that, uh, I, that not Adam, I, I know that Daniel doesn't like it when I say this. He's the GOAT. He's the best. He's literally the best. I'm... He... I don't, I, I don't usually grow envious of artists because I really think that I have a great style and I love my pieces and everything. And I, I love everyone's pieces. I think it's like so important to like, you know, see art, how it is from whoever does it mm -hmm. and just appreciate it. But man, oh man, don't I want to be able to do these effects like Daniel does. And not only that, to always make his own pose and always come up with something it, unique. I've seen so many pieces of him doing Vegeta, yet every single one is just so breathtaking and it's a fresh air. Like, right. it's, it's, oh it's my different. God. It's different. You know, uh, we were having this conversation in the admin group the other day about how some artists, they, like, do the exact same piece with the exact same pose the exact same person just like over and over and over again it's like how does like you feel like i feel like you like lose um i don't know interest drive the fun right <laughs> oh yeah for sure well i mean me as a landscape artist like i actually get that way too not like drawing a character from pose but like sometimes i'll I like to draw these, like, naked trees that look gothic and scary and stuff. But then I also like to have bright, vibrant colors, like, you know, and I like to have waterfalls and all this stuff, to, like, for happiness. But I do those so much that sometimes I'm like, oh, does this piece look too much like another piece? Oh, is this one? Eh, you know, like, yeah. you never have to worry about that with a Daniel Rios piece, like... And oh my gosh, just the lighting in this is incredible. Now, Daniel, this is the this is the piece that we were talking about doing for the art trade, right? Like you're gonna send this to me, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's definitely what should happen. I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure that's what was going to happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah uh, anyway, uh, no. Me. 
just just insane insane work and yeah totally another level very much so all right well that is our final art piece of the week so with that final piece it is time for our closing pieces closing comments closing thoughts so uh, once again i want to give another chance my dragon piece that i offered you guys i'm gonna sign it i'm gonna frame it i'm gonna send it to you whoever that lucky person is i'm gonna take your names from the comment section down below pull them out of a hat that person will get this piece sent to them signed by me what i will do is to kind of help out so you guys don't have to keep going back to the last video is any new commenter who comments down below will get added to that poll um so hopefully i get to give this away in the next week or so <laughs> i hope so too right like i want to give away my art otherwise it just ends up on my wall and then it's not nearly as fun guys i've already begged for two pieces tonight don't make me beg for a third <laughs> we do get need to do an art trade coming up here soon but we gotta get that worked out oh for sure anyway so with our closing comments once again i do want to remind everybody make sure like subscribe uh share these videos once again we do these videos to feature you guys not really featuring our own stuff i'm not sitting here talking about my own artwork i'm talking about your guys's artwork um you know get yourself out there make a name for yourself we want to see it yeah on top of that guys if you have any art friends make sure you are inviting them to the global geek art page on facebook and go find myself and my man eric down on tiktok not because it's really anything art related, just because they're funny and we like making weird videos. I do some weird videos and I do art stuff. Oh yeah. Bro, Very studio, weird do things. It. I mean, what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> All the weird things. It's what I like. What I like to do. All right, guys. Thank for having me on. With that said, you guys have a great night. I will see you all next time.